I guess I get to hide behind a chair. I can't see a thing. Is it best that way? I don't think so. Let's jump around so you can't see me. Either. I'll get rid of the chair. I don't like the chair. There we go. There's everybody. What do we do? Nobody's even going to ask me. Look at this. Somebody. It's just going to be... It's just going to be... <laughs> Hey, Cliff, I wanted to ask you about uh, your strongman uh, stuff that you've done. Can you just give us some of your uh, athletic background? Um, the strongman thing came into, uh, about, uh, I guess, geez, about 10 years ago, I started doing that. Just uh, just hanging out with the guys at the gym and that, and then uh, it was, of course, huge on television. And uh, Did you tell some of the people like what, what that's about? Because I don't think everybody knows what the strongman is. I, I don't know. If you've seen it on TV, those guys run around and pull planes and trucks and pick up big stones and, you know, that kind of thing. I did that for a while, just for trying to show up the young kids. I'd go in there twice the age of all these youngsters and show them up, so, you know, that was, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Can't do it now, I just don't recover like I used to, so. Well, it's like muscle memory, you never, you never really lose it, right? Well, you never lose it, but uh, the joints do get awfully sore. <laughs> the big 800-pound yokes. Yes, yeah, it does, it gets to you after a while. What's, what's the most you ever pressed? Uh, Bench-wise, I've never been very good. Just just over 400 pounds. And how about uh, like how about like a lift, like a yoke or? Uh... Uh, we did we did cars, small cars, so we had 900 pounds. Yeah, so you did like, like like 900 pounds, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 1,200 nice. pounds, 1,400 pound leg presses, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. I have to have something there to hold this up, so it's got to be strong. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks, Chris. Over there. Hello, Linda. Um, I know that at your job, discretion is a part of your thing, so I'm not going to ask you for good questions about, you know, for charges, but maybe some people on the crew or something, uh, if you've got any dirt to spill or funny stories that you have about um, somebody who isn't going to see this on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> funny stories. I'll tell you a funny story about me or some other guy. On his iPhone yesterday, or on Thursday, walking around on set. Do, 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 ah! and now he's on the ground because he runs into a crane. <laughs> that would be me. Yeah, that's what this is right here. So, I was going to try and say it was from a fight or something, you know, with 16 fans, but no. It's me and I won the crane. And the crane won, of course. Really yeah, smooth. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. And luckily, when I, you know, I hit, went down, came up, and looked around right away. Nobody. <laughs> I got off for that one. Thanks. Hello. Hi. I know it's kind of a cliche, but have you ever played a prank on me? No. Not that dumb. Actually, Jared, Jared did it one time. I think, I think it was right when we started. Um, yeah, I think it was like right when I started. So they were filling up a trunk in the car as they do several times. And they were way up high on the platform. And Jared thought it would be funny to throw some dirt off the platform onto my feet with a shovel. And he miscalculated. Right on top of my head. So he ran away, hid behind the car. And ever since then, he's still, every day, he's still kind of a little sketchy about it. I'll get him back. I haven't got him back yet. I'll get him back. I should have put starch in the sheets of the house or something. Ah, those. I don't know, they just showed up one day. It's like a bad rash. Um, it's strength and power in Scottish Gaelic. I can't remember which one picks, but yeah. That's strength and power. Um, this is a, a, a Celtic cross that's by a graveyard where my mom is buried in Scotland. Uh, this is uh, my prison release date. Oh, <laughs> that's my anniversary. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, <laughs> sorry, come on. Uh, this is a bodyguard, I think. Or, of course, it's a big white fat guy, but something like that. Uh, this cross is, again, a Celtic cross. It's all uh, sort of coming apart and held together by barbed wire. That's because um, I went through some, been going through some health issues for the last 10 years or so. And so uh, 
cross is breaking up, and the barbed wire just represents me because I'm a little rough around the edges sometimes. And uh, what else is there? Oh, yes, the giant one. This one here covers all the way over and around the back, and I have no idea why it's there. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, I wanted to ask, what are they going to bring Tiny back? <laughs> <laughs> they brought, they, it's kind of funny how they brought Tiny back, but they brought me back as Tiny. As yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to play myself, which is kind of weird. In whichever episode, what, what do you call that episode? Also uh, Present Blue? No, no, there's, we just oh. shot the one they shot oh, first. Oh, you are? The reality one. No, yeah. somebody plays me. It's, that's not a spoiler alert. It's, a it's all over the internet. Who <laughs> didn't know? I'm so sorry. I'll take that back. But if you go on the internet, it's on there, so I don't feel quite bad. Oops. So you're like playing you in. No, it's a complete lie. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Wait, wait, here it comes. Yeah. yeah. Hello.